Anopolipectron, living organism. For LD, uh, LD and moderate cultivation for record of growing of crops or cultivation of crops, we know the base components of soil that includes organic matter that is nearly about 45 percent, organic matter that is 5 percent, and soil water that is 25 percent, and soil air is 25 percent. If any natural or human activity deteriorates these comp components of soil, then it the term called as a soil pollution. Which are the sources of soil pollution? Sources, types, effects, that includes soil pollution majorly occurs due to following <coughs> industrial waste, urban waste, Agricultural practices, radioactive pollutant, pollutants, pollutants, and biological agents. Industrial waste. Disposal of waste from industry. That is first and foremost major problem for soil pollution. Industry, particularly various mills such as pulp and paper mills chemical fertilizer industry, oil refineries, sugar factories, textile industries, steel distillery, fertilizers, pesticide, and other industries, which may include drug, glass, cement, and petroleum industries, dispose their waste into soil. That's why soil pollution occurs. The effect of these soil pollutants, which are alter chemical and biological properties of soil, which disturb the components of soil. As a result of hazardous chemical, will enter into human food from soil or water and disturb biochemical process. These are the effects of industrial waste. Then urban waste. Urban sanitization, sanitization system, which consisting of majorly dried sludge and sewages, are not refused properly. They are causing various sweepings and causes soil pollution. This refuges includes garbage, rubbish materials like plastics, glasses, metallic cans, fibers, papers, fuel residues, and abandoned vehicles which generate various hazardous gases that is carbon monoxide is to us these wastes are dumped into or dispersed separately but it is observed that these wastes, wastes are not dumped properly so soil pollution occurs and it cannot be easily degraded to degrade these materials, it should be refused properly. Then various agriculture practices, which includes various quantities or huge quantities of fertilizers, pesticides, herbicides, and weedicides are still added to soil <coughs> to increase the yields yield or restore soil fertility. Apart from these farm vessels, manures, slurry, debris, soil region containing mostly inorganic chemicals are reported to cause soil pollution. Then 
lasso that is radioactive pollutants. Radioactive substances resulting from exclusion, explosions from nuclear testing laboratories and industries will giving rise to nuclear dust radioactive. Nuclear dust radioactive waste, which penetrates into the soil and accumulates, giving rise to land or soil pollution, which includes radium, thorium, uranium, and isotopes of potassium K40 and other carbon 14 compounds commonly found on soils, rocks, water, and air. In explosion of hydrogen weapons and cosmic radiations include neutron proton reaction by which nitrogen N15, N15 produces carbon 14, which again participates in participates in metabolism of plants, which is then into animals and human beings systems. The radioactive waste contains several radionuclides, that is strontium-90, iodine-129, cesium-137, and isotope cyan, which are really heavily injurious to human health. But it gets deposited into moss and tissues instead of calcium. In various nuclear reactor produces harmful uh, nucleotides that is ruthenium, iodine, barium 140, cesium 144, which then in terms are causing electrostatic forces and deposited on the soil whereby it produces soil emitting gamma radiations. So these are harmful effects of radionuclides. Then various biological agents such as large amount of human, animal and bird excreta, which constitute a major source of land pollution by biological agents. Heavy application of manures and digested sludge can cause severe, serious damage to plants within a year. So these are various sources. Then control measure of soil pollution. How to control soil pollution? The soil erosion or soil degradation can be controlled by variety of forestry and farm practices, such as planting of trees on barren slopes, contour cultivation and strip cropping may be practiced instead of shifting cultivation. Terracing and building where diversion channels may under be undertaken. We have to reduce deforestation and planting of trees with the help to arrest soil erosion in the long term. Then proper dumping of unwanted materials. We have seen various materials, that is plastic, garbages, Human solid sludge sewage can be disposed properly into unique dumping pattern or disposal should be properly in order to obtain housing for sport feed. Then production of natural fertilizers. Instead of using chemical fertilizers, we have to shift towards producing biofertilizer, biopesticides 
tuar esto. The harmful or hazardous repeat of toxin chemical chemicals and pesticides. Organic fertilizer should be used in place of synthesized chemical in order to restore soil fertility after each season or each year. Organic waste, animal dung, urine may be used to prepare compost, manure. Instead of throwing them wastefully, and polluting the soil. We have to conserve the natural resources or use on site available resources for generation of regeneration of these organic fertilizers. <coughs> then proper hygiene connection should be followed. People should be trained regarding sanitary habits. That includes human sanitation systems. Then public awareness. Formal and informal public awareness programs should be imparted to educate people. Nowadays, government mass media, through mass media communication, started the awareness campaign. Then recycling and reuse of waste. Waste. To minimize soil pollution, the waste such as paper, plastic, mills, glasses, various organics, petroleum products should be recycled and reused to minimize soil pollution. Then industrial waste should be properly treated at the source. Integrated waste treatments or integrated use of integrated nutrient management should be adopted. Then there should be ban on toxic chemicals. Government has already put or imposed a ban on use of chemicals or pesticides like DDT, BSC, because which are fatal to plants and animals. But these are used for various pertaining reasons. We have to strictly avoid the use of DTB, BSC, and improper chemical, which has put man on it. Then proper disposal of predictive deaths should be banned. In then it is all about how to control soil pollution. Okay, if you have any question about 